Want to learn engineering and science? Well, you've tuned in to the right channel. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. Hi there guys, how are we doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and today we're going to be continuing with our discussion on development of surfaces of cylinder. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. A cylinder base 50mm diameter and axis 60mm long is resting with its base on HP. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP and inclined at 45 degrees to HP and intersecting the axis at a point 15mm from the top of it. Draw its development. Okay, so the object obviously is a cylinder. Base diameter is 50 and axis is 60mm long. Apart from that, it is resting with its base on HP. So that essentially is a condition. Okay, so let us write it down. And then we have the details regarding the cutting plane. Now, if you if you read the statement, the cutting plane is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. That means this cutting plane is in fact an AIP, auxiliary inclined plane. And since it is inclined to HP at an angle of 45 degrees, so we're going to write theta CP, cutting plane is equal to 45 degrees. Intersecting the axis, 15 mm from the top. Okay, so that's it. So let's get started. And initially, since it is resting with its base on HP, the true shape of the base can only be seen from the top. And therefore, we'll begin by making the top view first. Something of this sort. Okay, let me divide this into eight equal parts. Now the diameter is 50 and therefore the radius is going to be 25. Now let us say this point is 1. This is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's it. Now let's try to take a look at this cylinder from the front. These are the projector lines. Um, this is going to be point 1 dash. Okay. This is 2 dash comma 8 dash. This is 3 dash comma 7 dash. Similarly 4 dash 6 dash and that's 5 dash. Let me give the cylinder some height. Height obviously has been given to us as 60 millimeters. So let me give the dimension over here. That's it. Now we know that the cutting plane is passing through the axis. So axis is somewhere here. Okay. And we'll have a point over here, 15 mm below the top of the axis. So that's this point is the top of the axis. And from the top of the axis, we're going to have a point 15 mm below. That's it. Through which the cutting plane is going to be passing, making an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal plane. Okay. So that's the 45 degree angle made by this cutting plane. That's it. Now let me get rid of this angle. That's it. Okay. Now let me darken the portion. Um, lying or falling exactly below this cutting plane, something of this sort. Okay, so this is the portion that we need to develop. All right, now this point is above generator one dash. Let's say this is a dash. Okay, this point, there are in fact two points over here, one above generator two, while the other above generator eight. Let's say that above generator two, we have this point, and let's say it's b dash. Similarly, above generator eight, you're gonna have c dash. Here we'll have D dash and here E dash. So D is going to be above 3 and E is going to be above 7. Um, that's how you need to write these points. Here it also cuts right at the top. Okay. I don't know what the name of that generator is. That is still unknown to us, but we are going to fit that. Let's just say for now, this is D, this is E. Let's say this is F and let's say this point is G. Okay. One point, one generator is going to be behind. One generator is going to be above. Now that generator is just before four and the generator behind is going to be slightly uh, close to six somewhere here. Okay. Precisely. All right. What to do next? Now just think about this. When you try to open up a cylinder and lay it absolutely flat, it looks like a rectangle. Okay. Whose length is equal to the circumference of the cylinder. So the circumference is 50 pi and doing this calculation, you're going to get this value as 157 millimeters okay now this is the circumference 157 mm and this is the circumference in the form of a line okay so this has been divided into eight equal parts same stuff has to be done over here also for that you need to do this construction okay you need to make eight points one one centimeter apart that's my advice you can go for half a centimeter or 1.5 centimeter or anything okay i don't want to waste any space so these are my eight points Eight point has to be joined with the end of this line, something of this sort. Keep your mini drafters along this line 
tighten the screw bring it to the seventh point make a line it should be absolutely parallel bring it to the sixth point draw a line keep on doing so until you have got all the points exhausted okay let's start from this point let's just say that we have opened up the cylinder from or about this point let's say this is one this is two three four five six seven eight and back to where we started okay let's have the vertical lines from all these points that's it point a in the development will be above one okay since in the front view it is above one dash and hence in the development it is going to be above one and that's point a at the start and that's point a right at the end point b above two point c above eight that's the line above two you're gonna have point b above eight you'll have point c point d above three and point e above seven let's have the line above three we'll have point d and above seven we'll have point e anything else okay what about this generator you need to specify locate where this generator is okay now for locating points f and g we know very well that it is in the upper base circle you can see it is in the upper base circle somewhere along this line you're going to obtain point f and g okay how for that to be located precisely you need to project this point downward something of this sort so right at the top it would be somewhere between three and four over here let's say this point is uh, um, say f and this point is g okay that's g and that's f okay right at the top between three and four right at the top between three and four we'll have point f so what you need to do is you need to keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here and with this three okay right at the top as the center you need to put an arc that's point f similarly you need to keep one leg of your compass here that is at seven other leg over here that is at g then right at the top of seven let's take this point as the center we're going to put an arc over here and we're going to say that this is point g okay now the step is pretty simple you have to join all these points in proper sequence with the help of a smooth curve okay and that's the development of this cylinder so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubts or queries to write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification in your cell phone okay i'll be back again with some more videos on engineering drawing and mechanics until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing